Welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day today We're in the car. You know why because we're currently at Target. We are going to do back-to-school shopping today It's an exciting thing to go back to school shopping. It's not an exciting concept to actually go back to school This is my third year of college. So I'm going to be finishing off my third year I think this semester finishes all my third year, but my school decided to do online So we will not be going to Hawaii until like January and that makes me really sad because I really want to be back on campus. I want to be with my friends. I'm tired of being at home. Corona and this whole pandemic really took all the fun out of college. There's no parties. There's no friends. We're just learning. Which is good and all in theory, but it gets annoying, especially when you're in your room all day. So today we're going to do some supply shopping for what I'm going to use for my online school at home in my room. And then we're going to go home and organize my desk to prep it for the school year. My desk right now, it's a mess. I need to like clean it out and then need to put all the new supplies in and hopefully I can find everything to put it in my desk and all the supplies. I think I'm also going to go to the either the container store or Bad Bath & Beyond to get some like divide for in my desk so without further ado let's go Coats, what I was in a nightmare searching in the dark but I couldn't find you there were footsteps coming on the hallway but when I turned around it wasn't you I was looking at myself I couldn't see my face but deep down I knew it was true shadows and if I ever lost you, what would I do? What would I do? do, 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 do. What would I do? Okay, so I'm currently parked on the side of the road just to give you guys a little update. So they didn't have everything that I needed. I still need to get some of like organizational stuff for my desk. So I'm going to see if there's a Bad Bath & Beyond near me or a container store to get that. So that is what we're going to do next. Okay, so we have arrived to Bed Bath & Beyond. I feel like now that every time I see a cute boy, I tell you guys, I feel like it's only fair for me to share that I saw another one. I saw another one. He is with his mom and brother and they're looking fantastic. So I'm gonna go in. Hopefully I can find what I'm looking for. So let's go. Now we're ready. Do -do -do -do. Woke up from my premonition, I couldn't- Okay, so I'm looking for acrylic containers, but I ended up in the pillow section. But acrylic containers for my desk. But look at these. I couldn't find you So I flipped all I ran into the kitchen I found a little note saying I'll be back soon so they didn't have the acrylic thing that I was looking for. It either wasn't too deep or they didn't have like the separators that they were looking for. Or it was like too expensive. Like why am I paying $40 for this little thing? So it's time to get some refreshments. Get a drink from Starbucks. I haven't drank anything sugary in like a week. Because I'm trying to like cut off my juice intake. But now that I've successfully gone through a week um it's time to get a venti drink at starbucks that might have enough sugar to produce diabetes but it's fine because it's one drink okay so we're gonna go and find a drive through this time because last time i didn't find a drive through i made it to the starbucks drive through for real this time let me practice my order hi <laughs> hey hi hello no hey can i no hi can i have a why do i talk like that can I have a venti passion tea, lemonade with light ice, and a banana bread toasted? That's what I want. That's my order. That's been my order for years. You know why? Because I haven't tasted anything else at Starbucks. That is why. So if you have a Starbucks drink, that will change my life. Uh, I like like refreshing stuff, like lemony stuff, citrus stuff. If you have that, leave a comment down below. I, should I wear a mask? Should I? Because I'm just grabbing. Should I wear a mask? If I'm ordering with the cast. I don't know. Okay, my time to shine's coming. My time to shine. And why am we turning? Okay. Hi. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. 
Can I get started for you? Hi, can I have a venti passion tea lemonade with light ice? Sure, if you want sweetener. Oh, yes, we for your Okay, thank you. Thank you. So I think that they have a camera and they came to me. I didn't know drive throughs did that, but she told me to put on my face mask, so I'm gonna do that because we're gonna be safe. All right, 710. Thank you. Here's that for you. Thank you. And here's your card back. You have a great day. Thank you. I don't remember the last time I bought a Starbucks drink. Like, it's been a minute, okay? See my banana bread? Do you see it? And it's full glory. Mmm. 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 Yes. Yes. So, I'm gonna finish my snacky snack, then we're gonna drive home and finish up with this preparation. Okay, so we are home and now we're gonna tackle the desk area. As you can see, we have a lot of things on the desk. We gotta clear it up. I will be spending 15 weeks in the fall over here having some fun, fun times, great, wonderful times. Um, so it's gotta be ready. I still have my papers from my last semester. I did a spring semester online. So I have my papers from there. I'm just gonna clear up this area, get it ready for school. We're gonna do it together. We're gonna have some fun cleaning. Let's go. So I have all my stuff that I just bought. I think I'm gonna first start by clearing everything off my desk, spraying it down, wiping it out, and then we can start putting things in places, finding homes for things. So for now, I'm gonna put everything on the side so I can go ahead and do that, so yeah. Everything is off the desk, on the side, except the computer, I'm just gonna use this Lysol spray to wipe it down because we definitely got it dirty. The clock was hitting midnight, your clothes were all packed, and the dog was gone too. So what do I do? What do I do? Okay, so now I have two drawers right here. Oof. They have a lot of things in them. I, I feel like you can see. I'm gonna take out the things I no longer need. There's a lot of scratch paper in here, a lot of garbage in here. Like, who is she? We don't know her, she needs to go. And everything that I've only used one side, I'll put them on my goose paper pile. Uh, if you guys don't know what goose paper in Canada, we call it goose paper. I don't know, I've never heard that term used here in college. It's just good on one side. That's what it means, goose. So I'm gonna put all that aside and hopefully get everything out of here. Me, it was only a dream within a dream. It gave me silence. Drawer one, complete. So I have this thing on my desk right here and I use this to organize my classes. So for this, this is all my stuff from my physics lab and I would just put it with a clip and then would put it in here. So I'm gonna take out all my semester stuff from my last semester. So I have physics, statistics, genetics. I'm not gonna throw this away because I know you always can go back, especially if you're a science major, never throw away your science notes. You can always go back and look at something that you learned from a previous class to help you in the next class. So I'm gonna take all this and I'm going to put it in my closet in a drawer that I have in there so I can use this again for my next semester. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this away. These are notebooks that I used for my last semester. I am freaking obsessed with these notebooks. I got these on Amazon. They are square notebooks. If you're doing chemistry, organic chemistry, this would be fantastic for it because it is, like I said, squared like that. Fantastic. I use this for my genetics class and for my physics class. And because I'm taking another physics class this semester, I'm gonna leave my physics in here. And because I also didn't use all of my notebook for genetics, I'm just gonna take the last half of the notebook for my molecular biology class that I have this semester. Ugh. Now going to the class that I have this semester, I, <laughs> I think I wanna start crying already. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave. These notebooks here, I'm gonna put these papers away so I can clear this and have it ready for next semester. So in this one, I'll put all my supplies and in this one, I'll put all like my notebooks and stuff. So I have my planners, two separate planners cause YouTube, school, you know, put those in here, a notebook. 
I got a desk calendar for my last semester and I still have some time left to use it in the year. I only take this out when I'm doing school and because I don't start for another four weeks, <laughs> yes, I still have four weeks. Um, I'm gonna keep this in this drawer while I wait for school to start. Okay, we are done. Let me show you. Okay, so the desk is final and set up. Over here, I just have the book that I'm currently reading, some extra white paper, my binder that I'll start using this year with my notebooks. If you go in here, my first drawer, you just have like school supplies, so binder clips, extra pens. We got some dry erase markers for my board that I just finished putting up extra loose leaf papers with reinforcement so they don't break. I hate thin papers, I need them thick. Mechanical pencils and highlighters. And then in this drawer, this one's a little bit more messy. This is just like paper stuff and like extra things, so like random batteries. This is like my planners, my notebooks, files, and then just like command strips and more notebooks and then random cords right here. And then on my desk, I just have my desktop, my laptop, and then this little thing for my pencils, and that is my desk. So from here, you have my whiteboard. So I use my whiteboard during school to practice for tests or any exams. So this is why I put it up. I take it down when I don't need it, but now that school's starting again, in the next few weeks, I have put it up to have it right next to my desk. Okay, so I'm done setting it up. This is gonna be my classroom. It's gonna be my study space. It's gonna be my library. It's going to be my hangout space, my sleeping space, my office, my workspace, every single thing. This is going to be the desk that I'm going to be using for 15 weeks for fall. I am praying. I am crossing my fingers that my school is going to be in person coming new year. So like my winter semester is gonna be in person. I only have three semesters left in my school fall, winter and spring and then I graduate. Oh my goodness. I only have three semesters left and I grad. I graduate next year if I pass all my classes. Oh my goodness, oh, that just clicked, that just clicked. Given the fact that I really need to be in person in January because I can't stand in this room any longer. However, we're gonna do great these next 15 weeks. I don't start school until like the beginning of September, but I just wanna get myself settled in, try to click, turn on that switch again, start the grinds, get the gears turned, the grinds getting the gears turning again, starting my thinking cap because that's gonna be my new reality. Again, doing school online. We love it. If you have an in-person school, be grateful, please. Please have some fun for me. Please be safe for me. I would love to be in person right now, but this is what we're gonna do. So that being said, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see back to school supplies that I got for this year, I still have to order a couple of things from Amazon. But if you're down to see that, leave a comment down below. If you guys like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on any video you guys want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, at natasha.matherent. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ooh.